with him. The word of the king will favor someone in the air. Someone is not here in the fire. I said the word of the king is coming to favor someone here today in the name of Jesus. So I tell you today message. The king's word is sufficient. The king's word it is sufficient. In as much anywhere the word of it is, there is power. I don't need much effort to achieve my goal. What I just need is that King speak into my life. King speak into my family. As soon as he speak, favor will proceed. Joy will proceed. Relief will proceed. Everything that we waiting for will come in one accord. Bible said, where there is where the word of King is. There is power. Who may say to him, What are you doing? The son may say, Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Our God is unquestionable, God. And therefore, anything that is questioned in your life today, by telling the God that is sound, that Almighty God will answer that question on your behalf today. The king's word is sufficient for me and you. So, what are you looking for? Some going up down noises here and there. When you look at your Bible, book of Revelations, Revelation chapter 17. Maybe if you are there before me, can I do it? Revelation chapter 17, verse 14 of it. The Bible tells us this will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, for He is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, and those who are with Him are called Susie and faithful. Believe me honestly, the Lord Jesus is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of all. He is the Lord over your life. Over your situation and your circumstances. Then if Jesus is in charge, why don't we take all the problems to him? Why don't we trust him and rely on him? Why don't we accept his offer? He said this. We make war with the lamb. He was called lamb because he's the only one that qualified to be offered for the sin of the world. A lamb without wrinkle, without blemish. He's the only prescription of God Almighty. No other prescription in the time of Moses. They have their own prescription. They can go about touching both, using it all for sacrifice, for the atonement of their sin, for the sin of free. They can lose coat. They can lose ram. They can also use lamb. Even according to the book of Exodus, did they call one to take Israelites out of Egypt? Exodus chapter 12. The prescriptions of God is that they should look for a near lamb, each family. And they should kill it and use the blood to mark the lintel of their house. Because God said, I'm about to pass Egypt. And my judgment is about to come over Egypt and their husband. So 
make sure you are protected. You said belongs to protect yourself and your family. Because the angel will move. The only thing the angel will exclude is only where you see the blood. Everywhere there is no blood, there is going to be a trouble. Everywhere there is no sign of the litter. Trouble is coming. The king order his word. He said, go and tell my people Israel. They should look for a lamb without blemish, a year old. Let them offer it. That is only what qualifies. To send away the angel of death. Because death is coming. It's not going to kill everybody. But it's going to kill most important people in the family. So therefore, make sure your family is protected and secure. And the people of God, they obey. They use the blood. In the last day, God now sent his son Jesus as a perpetuation of God, the Lamb, the calf. They use in those days in the time of Israel. In those days, they can enter into the temple to offer sacrifice every, every, every year, every month, month by month, week by week. But when they come to Jesus, they only enter in that holy of holy once. And after that day, all our sins have been exposed. All our sickness have been exposed. Our shame and disgrace has been exposed. Therefore, I have nothing to hide under my clothes anymore. Because they have been exposed to Jesus. Jesus has exposed them into open shame, open disgrace, and we have triumphed over all my problems. So, therefore, whatsoever you are keeping under your clothes, that is not of God, that comes from Satan to torment you, to molest your life, to make you inferior in the society. I pray today, the blood of Jesus will expose that problem in the name of Jesus. Some people press well. They appear consciously. When they dress, they look so stormy in the society. But they are unhappy. They, they, they cover their bodies in sadness. Sorrow, pain, unhealed wounds. Today, every wound that you have been cured in the process of life because of situation. Today, I command be healed in the name of Jesus. When you see a wounded soldier, there are many factors that can be for a wounded soldier. Emotionally feeling is there. Physically, element is there. And there are other factors. Being active, performance, may not be, uh, may not get to the expected points. But, when God call me, when healing takes place, when healing takes control, take over, and your fears of the wounded parts, when the person is totally restored and recovered, it becomes very strong and vibrant. I pray for you. According to Jeremiah 8, verse 22, Jeremiah 8, verse 22, Bible says, It's not no power in the beginning, it's not no physician. Why the wound of my daughter has not healed? As many of you that are going about the wound, that you have been killed because of the life process, because everything struck at you, because of the idle world of people, because people castigate you, because people are in great to you, they have so other side of evil to you, and because of that, they have wounded you. I command you today, be healed of that infirmity, be healed of that pain today. In the name of Jesus, I will be betrayed, or you have been detected of somebody I'm going to be a pastor, and because of that, you don't see life so peaceful anymore. You see everything so bad and lost. I pray for you. That's it of the enemy that has so into your life. Don't castigate 
protect you. The island that is above the other day. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. The coming back is coming to you today. I said, coming back is coming to you today. Coming back is reaching you today. Today is your help coming back. I said, you are coming back. 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 In the name of Jesus. The word of King is coming to you today. They are story in the name of Jesus. Who saw that destroy you with the word? The word of King is also superior. You see the word of God today. You see comfort in the name of Jesus. Where there is the word of King, there is a power. One day, this king was going about. He passed through the pool. The book of Bethesda. Book of Bethesda is where a man lies down for 38 years. A lot of people have been coming to that pool, getting their miracle. And they've been going to church, you won't take the churches. Just because of one thing, that is not telling your life. You have been seeking God from everywhere, looking for a solution with your own idea. But nothing has come. All your experience is disappointment. Today, the word of King will terminate every disappointment in your life, in your family, in your marriage, in your career, in your decision, in your commitment, in the mighty name of Jesus. That man has nowhere to go. He was stagnated. He remains in one position. He is looking for a helper. He can't help himself. This man has been the best power of life. Nothing more to achieve, but he's waiting for one thing. He knows that when that thing happens, that will become meaningful to him. Things will change for him. Is there anybody here? What is your problem? Problem is not many, it's just one problem. Today, in that land that is above every other name, we see solution to that problem. To that one problem, we see solution, we see solution, we see solution, we see solution. In the name of Jesus. This man was there waiting. He was waiting. Waiting from angels from above. When God sent angels, they were coming to that river. And when they travel to the river, the condition is who first enter. I want to speak to someone here. Whatever position you are in the life, in your career, in your family, you might be a last position in your family. But today, the favor of King will take you forward. I say the favor of King will take you forward. In the name of Jesus. But in that man's case, his case is exceptional. Your own case will become exceptional today. In the mighty name of Jesus. If the Lord did not treat other cases, the Lord will treat your own case. He will treat your own matter today. Solution will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Why he was waiting? Jesus came to him. And when Jesus was trying to talk to him, he was trying to detail Jesus, giving Jesus details. And he here along, the one that is called Abraham the Maker, the beginning and the ending, he wants to tell him the story that he knew very well. The story that Jesus knew. Jesus passed there because of him. He knew that all that has got the American has been there for long. He's the only one that remains helpless. But Jesus came and said, I want to help you. To get Jesus to help somebody. I said, Jesus will help somebody. Financially, it will help you. Physically, it will help you. Mentally, it will help you. Emotionally, it will help you. It will help you in every application. In the mighty name of Jesus. This man wants to change his location. He knows he has been located in one spot 
for many years because of one problem. The problem of infirmity is called impotent force. Today, heaven power went to you in potence. In that name of the Lord God, omnipotent God, receive potential ability today. Receive potential power today. Receive potential strength today. In that name of Jesus, I have to possess your power. They need to possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your prosperity. They need to expand to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, to every part of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. That man, Jesus told him the words carry your bed and walk. I don't care you sit down. Because the enemy has covered your face. They use the evil shape to block your face. You can't see. But I want to tell you if your eyes are open in a flash now, you can see where God has taken you to. I command your eyes to open. Begin to see it visible. Begin to see it visible. Begin to see it visible. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, someone is changing his location. I say you are changing your location. You will not remain the place of loneliness again. In the mighty name of Jesus. This man was in the place of loneliness. He has no helper. He was lonely. But Jesus said, No, I will change your story. Someone is here today. My Lord Jesus will change your story. I said, My Savior will change your story. My Helper will change your story. The God has come to seek you. We change your story. In the name of Jesus. Everything one enemy has cast a spell on you. That you will not know that time in your life. You will not know the measure of laughter. You will not know the measure of joy. Today I command every word of God of, of spell on you, every spell upon your head, I command that spell to be raised by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Every spell upon your family, I cast you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Every spell in your mind I, I cast you today in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are in trouble. Because most cases men used to play you. And the laws demand I prepare the woman coming behind Khalid. Some men, they are womanizer. In most cases, some women, when they get married to a man that another woman left. If I come to a barrier, in most cases, the one that man abandoned might be a spiritual woman in the court of the world, in the spiritual world. And if I come and say, from today, the day you are getting married, you will be washing you circulating. And that day is the day that we insert that job. Every problem is started in the of your marriage. I invite that problem today. In the name of Jesus. Every word of accusation against your marriage, I cast you in the world of the King of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone will say that marriage, uh, there will be no peace. There will be no joy. There will be no children. There will be no harmony today, I pray. There will be joy in your marriage. There will be harmony in your marriage. There will be fruitfulness in your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to endure your divine prosperity. Begin to endure your divine prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, that prosperity, God has given it to you. Begin to enjoy it today. In the mighty name of Jesus. That man. Any making a several woman. He was in the several points. He don't know where to travel to. Because where he was, he was discouraged. The camera is looking for a helper. But the helper of a helper came. The next thing the helper came and told him, Carry your bed and walk. I said to someone today, carry your mat and walk. Begin to enter into your glory. Begin to enter into your door. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will abandon that sickness. We abandon that sorrow, that pain, that disease. You will abandon them today. You will abandon that your mystery. In the name of Jesus, that is something you share. 